Filet of salt? Waka waka waka! Fuzzy! Sorry. There aren't any fish here, Kermit. Let's move to another spot. Oh, sure thing, Ralph. I'll start the motor. That spot over there looks good. Gee, the carpet looks much deeper here. Hey, Skeeter, I got one. Wow! I bet it's the biggest fish in the lake. I don't think so, Scooter. Gee! <laughs> Yuck! Why would a fish want to eat one of these? Are you kidding, Piggy? These are great. Phew! Got to eat a worm. No, I didn't. These are cheese twists. No, they're not. These are the cheese twists. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing this is my imagination, or I'd be one sick weirdo. This is my latest and greatest invention, Beaker. A radar-controlled fish locator. All you have to do is turn it on, and it automatically finds the fish. Here, sure. go ahead and try it out. Shark! Shark! Oh no! It's worse than a shark! It's... it's... Animal Jaws! Hey guys! Look what time it is! It's time for our favorite cartoon show, Funny Freddy! I'm going to be funny someday, just like Funny Freddy. <laughs> oh, that Funny Freddy, <laughs> he's too much. <laughs> he's pretending his TV show is messed up. <laughs> oh, Fuzzy, I think our TV really is messed up. It is? Oh, no. I can't live without Funny Freddy. He's my idol. Maybe it's the antenna. See if you can fix the picture, Beaker. Hurry up, Skeeter, or we'll miss the show. Nanny will know what to do. What's wrong with the TV, kids? The picture's all funny, Nanny. Can you fix it? Oh, no. I think it's really broken, kids. Oh. I'll call the repairman. He'll come out and fix it. This is horrible. Yeah, we've never missed Funny Freddy before. I know. I could pretend I'm Funny Freddy and you could watch the Funny Fozzie show instead of the Funny Freddy show and I'd be just as funny as Freddy and... Funny! Oh, you're right. Nobody's as funny as Freddy. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Fozzie may have something there. I do? Uh, you mean you want me to pretend I'm Funny Freddy so you can watch the funny... Uh, not exactly, Fuzzy. I was thinking we could pretend to make our own TV shows. That's a great idea, Kermit. We can use our cardboard box as a TV. Great idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, but how will we make a screen? I know. There. How's that? Perfect, Skeeter. Hey, these paper cups will make great control knobs. And this will make a suitable antenna. Come on, let's try it out. Gosh, I thought this was a black and white cardboard TV. Hi, friends. Chef Rolf here for Doggy Time Dog Food. If you're a dog, and I know I am, 
You love doggy time. Yes, sir. It's a real meal in a can. I don't like commercials. Change the channel, Kermit. Mm, gee, how do you change the channel on this TV, Piggy? Simple. You pick it up and... Hey! Hey! Oh. Uh, you're on, Kermit. What? Me? Gee, I'm, I don't know what kind of program to do. Hold it. There's something wrong with the color. It's all green. There's nothing wrong with the color, Gonzo. I am green. Oh, that would explain it. Oh, boy. Me fix, me fix. Animal, no! Good color! Animal! Sorry. Phew. Go on, Kermit. Show us a TV program. Uh, I know. I got one. Good morning. This is Kermit Hopper with the early news. Our big story today, Fuzzy Bear left the water running in the sink again washing away half the city of Cleveland. However, Fozzie was nice enough to loan the city his rubber ducky to help in the evacuation efforts. On the drier side, in San Francisco, famous inventor Bunsen Honeydew built the world's first skyscraper made of flour and water. Oh, um, I guess he didn't use enough water. And now for the sports report. Wait a minute, uh, here's an important bulletin. We now take you live to our Pig on the Street reporter, Piggy. Hello, Kermit. I'm here on the street with Fozzie Bear. Rumor has it that Fozzie just told his first funny joke. Well, Fozzie, there are millions of viewers out there anxiously waiting to hear you finally say something funny. No problem. I just know your audience is going to love this joke. What do you get when you saw down an apple tree? Give up, you get applesauce. <laughs> get it? Well, here you have it. Just another one of those wild rumors. Now, back to you, Kermit. Thanks, Piggy. And now it's time for Scooter's Computer Weather Report. Whoa! You're on, Scooter. I am? Oh, uh, here are the current temperatures. Let's see. Uh, 42, 71, and 19 below. This is boring! Get to the good part, Scooter. If there is a good part. Oh, sure there is. The real weather. Let's see. Uh, we have some rain in the northwest. Ugh. 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 And, uh, and six inches of snow in Wyoming. Ooh. And in Florida. Oh, no! What is it, Scooter? Look! Tell us! A hurricane! Help! 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 Stop it! Bad animal! No! Bad weather! Whoa! Come on, Beaker. It's time for another commercial. Hello there, potential consumers. I am Bunsen Honeydew, child genius. For the first time on Nursery Wide Television, I'm offering you my latest invention. Come on, Beaker. It's all right. Friends, these are my new foolproof anti-nightmare pajamas. No matter what kind of bad dreams you ever have, these pajamas will protect you. You say you have nightmares about falling out of bed? No sweat. Just pull our patented pajama ripcord. <laughs> or perhaps your problem is scary ghost dreams. <laughs> no problem. Just blast him with the ghost-busting backpack. That's right, friends. For only 25 cents, you can have your very own anti-nightmare PJs with my personal satisfaction guarantee that you'll sleep like a rock. What's up, Beecher? The commercial's over. Now, uh, what show do you want to watch next? How about I, I Love Piggy? Yuck! I'd rather watch Laverne and Skeeter. No way! I know the perfect show!
Wow! Weirdo trick! <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to outer space, the final frontier, where we join the voyage of the Starship's second prize on a mission to explore alien worlds and go where no weirdo has gone before. When will we reach Starbase One, Mr. Weirdo? Logically speaking, Captain Kirkmit, we'll arrive in approximately two hours and 29.19826. Close enough, Mr. Weirdo. Mm. What's wrong, Dr. Dogbones? There's something screwy with your Vulcan brain, Mr. Weirdo. Maybe your batteries are low. I'll raise them. <laughs> There's something on the screen. Not that screen. That screen. Oh no! It's a static cling on spaceship! Red alert! Red alert! Remember, troopers, I don't care what happens to Mr. Weirdo! But we must take handsome Captain Kirkmit prisoner. <laughs> Photon tomatoes away! Oh, no! We then eat, Captain Kirkman! Yes, photon tomatoes! Oh, no! Next, we'll be blasted with radium relish! What are our chances of defeating the static Klingon vessel, Mr. Weirdo? I'd say approximately one chance in 29,014,930,221.374821967. By the time he's done with that number, the show will be over. That's close enough! Ganjo, Luke and Han Solo aren't in the show. They aren't? What about Indiana Jones? No. Larry, Moe, and Curly? Uh-uh. Gee. Ha-ha! Their defensive screens are down! A few more photon tomatoes and Captain Kirkmit will be mine. Scooty, get us out of here! Accelerate to warp vector 9! I'm doing the best I can, Captain. What's wrong? Uh, I think Scooty put too much warp in the warp vector. There. The warp is off. Our only chance is to board that static Klingon vessel and trick them into surrendering, Captain. Oh, um, right. To the transporter room. Beam us away, Scooty. And be sure you dial the right number this time. I'm sorry, you have reached a disconnected number. I know he dialed the wrong number. Better dial again, Scooty, and this time check the directory. Okay. That's better. Set your phaser to tickle, Mr. Weirdo, and we'll tickle those static Cleons into surrendering. Or we'll tickle blast you. And the chances of anyone resisting a tickle blast are precisely 337 point. Uh -huh. I mean three. That's all. Three. Thank you. Oh my! You're even better looking than I imagined. <sighs> it's these ears. Nobody can resist them. What? Again, <laughs> again. Some people prefer my nose. Oh, Captain Kirkmit. What do you say we go on a little star trip together? Hmm. Um, say, anybody want to hear a good space joke? Not now, Buddy. Okay, then I think it's time for another commercial. Commercial! Commercial! <laughs> you can't do a commercial animal. Yeah, you can hardly talk. Me talk, me talk. What could you sell that we'd want to buy anyway? <laughs> What? Dirt farm! Put on face! Better on clothes! 
Another sponsor. What do you think? What should we watch now, guys? How about a comedy police show? I could tell jokes and arrest the audience for laughing without a license. <laughs> Forget it, Fozzie. No one would ever laugh at your jokes. Hey, guys, I want my Muppet TV. Huh? I want my Muppet TV. Oh, I get it. Rolf wants to do a music video. That's a terrific idea. Let's get our instruments. Good idea, Kermit. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Every single morning at the crack of dawn, they wake up and they have to turn the TV on. Tune in every single show and give them a chance. What makes them different from you and me? They never seem to get enough of watching TV. TV the Johnny Carson show? It comes on after your bedtime. Not today, it doesn't. <laughs> Piggy on the Johnny Carson show? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> Would you welcome Miss Piggy? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so good to be on your show, Johnny. I don't believe this. Yeah, she did it. <laughs> Boyfriends, do you have any boyfriends? Well, um, sort of. Isn't that right, Kermit? What? Shh, you don't have to tell the world about it, Piggy. You want, want to do something for us? What? Um, well, actually, I thought you'd never ask. You'll find 
find him just behind. He'll follow me down the aisle one day, and married we will be. So if you're thinking of chickening out, you're in big trouble, Kermit! <laughs> I could get onto the Johnny Carson show, I could become a famous comedian. Forget it, Fozzie. Johnny only lets funny comedians tell jokes. Yeah, he'll never let you on his show. Oh, yeah? Then I'll just have to sneak on. And next, I'd like to sing. Um, did I say something funny? <gasps> get off this stage, you... You... to hear one of my funny jokes. Fuzzy, don't you dare. You'll embarrass Mr. Carson. But this is my big chance, Piggy. Fuzzy! Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, hi there. My name is Fuzzy Fair. I mean, Fuzzy Bear. Uh, and I'll tell you a joke if you promise not to throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> okay? I don't believe it. Johnny Carson is laughing at me. Hey, guys, Johnny Carson laughed at me. I'm funny. I really am. Gee, Mr. Carson did laugh at Fozzie. Yeah, maybe he'd let me play piano on his show. I could do scientific experiments. I could be a stand-up weirdo. Yoo-hoo. Johnny. Mr. Carson. Hello. Hi, kids. The TV's fixed. You can watch all your favorite programs now. Uh, gee, thanks, Nanny. Thanks, Nanny. Come on, guys. Keep going. Now you another Turn show. the box back on. another one. Quickly. What on earth are you doing? We're making our own TV shows, Nanny. Yeah, we like our programs better than the real ones. What's on next? Let's watch Happy Dogs. Or what about Candid Computer? Wait, I got it. You are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension of blue-nosed baboons. You are entering the weirdo zone. Bye-bye!